Training time's over. Oh, I don't want this guy. All right, let's get into this raid. Armed mail down. Ah. All right. What is going on, people? YouTube. It is your boy Farnsey here, and uh, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna be real with you right now. Um, it's Christmas Eve, as at the time that I'm recording this right now, and the last week, especially of my job. I mean, it's been kind of a little bit of a shit show. I'm gonna be honest. The last week, particularly, has just been stupid. Since I've got my internet back after I moved and stuff like that. And I've been wanting to get back into making videos because I enjoy making videos, but I've been not sure exactly, like, I just couldn't really think of what exactly I wanted to make. After this past week of work, I tell you, I told you, I'm telling you, it's, it's been such a, a screw around. I'll, I'll get into it. Oh man. So anyways. So so it's it's Thursday today, right? Christmas Eve, Thursday. So let's go back a week to last Thursday. My roommate, who is my main crew guy at work too, like we do snow removal for anyone that doesn't know. And uh oh why did my gun switch? Anyways, so we do snow removal and it's Generally, it's us two. Sometimes we got like a third guy on a, on a couple days of the week. But anyways, so last Thursday, he had a doctor's appointment out of town, and we uh oh what the hell? I don't know what I just did. How do I get rid of this? Seriously, how do I? Okay. So last Thursday. Roommate, went to town. he had a doctor's appointment, right? And uh, we usually start at 3 a.m., but it was midday. We got called back out just for one property. It was just a, kind of a, a small return check. There was just a little thing, a little section that kind of got drifted because it was like windy and stuff. So, right, just went back to clear that up again. Out. And uh, oh, god, I'm mad. And uh, I just went by myself because I didn't really think there's a, a point in taking about the same amount of time it would take me to get that done. The third guy. No big deal. It, it took me like 40 minutes to leave my place, go clear it, and be back at my house. So, like, not, not worth it. Well, I guess found out that uh, the other two, like my roommate and our, our third guy there, <coughs> got called to work Saturday, which is normally our days off, Saturday and Sunday, um, to make up because I had 40 more minutes to play the game. I guess. And I'm not going to complain about hours. Like, we're all wanting more hours, so they got called. To get more hours, and they had several hours of stuff that they got called to do, where I didn't. So I mean, I wasn't thrilled, but whatever. I mean, I guess I still got my day off, right? Well, then I do end up getting called Saturday halfway through the day. What the? And uh, so I get my stuff ready because I'm thinking back. They called. They said, "Okay, we're, we'll be there soon to pick you up, and we just need you to take the the one crew truck." and pick up a pallet of ice melt and just bring it back to the shop. I'm like, okay, sounds good. Like half an hour or whatever, will take. Not a big deal. I just destroy the R60 to kill myself. So I'm waiting outside, because they made a big stink about that on literally our first day. They were our, our third guy that we usually, or that we work with sometimes. He, uh, he wasn't waiting outside, and it was like a minus 30 day, and he wasn't waiting outside for us, and he made our, our crew manager put up a big stink about it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give him a reason to stink. So I was like, I'm gonna be ahead of the curve. I'm gonna wait outside for him. Not a big deal. It wasn't a bad day. It wasn't great by any means, but it wasn't bad. And uh, 
waiting outside. Then I get a text. Yeah, never mind. I don't think we'll make it. We don't need you anymore. You can just stay home. So then I'm like, oh. Well, my roommate's out. He didn't know where his key was. So he borrowed mine to our apartment. And, uh, which means I didn't have a key. So now I'm outside of my apartment with no key. So I'm like, I was like now I'm locked out because my roommate, he has my key. I can't get back in. So I'm like, that's okay, whatever. My roommate, he, he should be done soon. So I'm like, it's not bad out. I can just wait. So I'm like, I'll give him a call. See whereabouts he's at. Get a kind of a time frame. So I call him. And I call him. He lets me know, yeah, it should be... I'm just at like the last place, shouldn't be too long. Be like 10, 15 minutes. Like, oh, okay. That's not too bad. That's fine. Well, and then someone came out of the building, so I was able to get in, right? So I, I messaged, messaged my manager at that point saying, I'm not locked out anymore. Like, I got in. I get inside. I'm inside for like three minutes. Then I get a text. No, you're coming with us now. We're already committed to coming back now. I was like, are you joking me? So I got stranded outside, told I don't need to work. Finally get back in. We're like, no, we're coming now. So I was like, you know what? Fine, you can come, but I'm not I'm not leaving again. You can you can wait for me to come back downstairs and come outside. No, I'm not I'm not dealing with that again. And like this this the, my, our uh, our management crew or whatever, they're very wishy washy with their plans. They they like to change their plans for like three times an hour, roughly. And it, it's very annoying and irritating. They finally, they picked me up. Not gonna lie, I kind of let them know I wasn't impressed. I, was, I wasn't a jerk or like anything like that, but I was notably unimpressed. And uh, the, the other two, like my roommate and our, our other guy, they were, they were getting screwed around all day too because of the plan changing. Like they went to one site, which is right around when I called them. And they got there. And right as they got there, they got called to go meet to, to get more, uh, more ice melt. So they go back, they do that. And right as they get there, they're like, okay, now you got to go back. So they, they go back, and they just kept getting called to go to different location after lo location. Just like right after another plan changing, not really actually doing anything. And they spent like an hour just driving around because they just kept changing the plan and couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted to do. So they just wasted an hour. My roommate and our other guy, they, they were not uh, very happy campers after that. I wasn't very happy camper after that. So that, that, that brings us to literally Saturday. That's that's three days we're in. And we're getting pretty pretty irritated, like over our normal levels because it's just starting to build up, become more frequent it seems, which is And then Sunday we uh, get randomly called in to uh help out whatever which I mean like I said before it's it's fine it's not that big of a deal um, and then we got called out later in the day to go back and check the other crew's properties like it's not even one of ours we were checking it was one of theirs and it, it was just disgusting like they didn't do a very good job which is a reoccurring theme with them it seems like they just they're always they're always like half-assing it and just kind of getting it okay personally I'm not a fan of I like doing it right so I don't have to come back and do it again. But uh, that just that just doesn't seem to be the case with them. But I mean, everyone's different. And then it was like that night, right around midnight. Uh, the roomie was in some pain. I had to take him to the hospital. You got to do that. It's like health. It's obviously, the most important thing. You're dead. So, like did that. Dealt with him. Like, went to the hospital with him. We were there for a few hours throughout the morning or whatever, so like I messaged our crew like when we were going saying, hey, end of the hospital, don't know exactly when we'll be out. Could you cover our checks for the night? And they're like, yep, sounds good, no big deal. So I was like, thank you very much. Like, and he's like, do you think you could possibly uh, come back out and help around like 8 in the morning? I was like, yeah, that shouldn't be too, like that shouldn't be a problem. I can come out and help because like it was supposed to snow a bit, and so like I, I went out and I helped that morning. Uh, roommate stayed home, just kind of chilling out, getting to feel better. And uh, so I go out and I pick up our, our third guy, and we go to do the checks. And I get told our, uh, our the first three that are on our list they did for us, and we just gotta basically continue from there. 
so I was like, all right, sounds good. So we start and we're going. Tuesday comes, we go through our list and we get to the places that the other crew supposedly were dealing with, or that they, they dealt with, and they told us not to worry about because they did. So we get to, the, to one, and it's it's a, our, one of our it's probably the biggest one of the more important of our list because it's one of the most busier traveled. And we got there, and it was. I can see the light in the door. 